This edition of Up Close with Colin Thompson has been brought to you by St. George's Cricket Club, Bermuda's first organized sporting club, serving the St. George's community since 1892. Additional funding for this program was also provided by Dennis Wainwright and family. Hello and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Colin Thompson, joined today by none other than our English county cricketer, Delray Rollins. Delray, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, great to have you on board, man, and great to see you again. Yeah, it's nice to be back for a little while, and, you know, looking forward to get back playing cricket, though. Yeah, last time we caught up with you was, was at Sussex, your club over there in the UK. Uh, what, was it three years ago? Yeah, a little while ago. It probably might have been four, actually, thinking about it. Wow, time, time does indeed. Time flies. Fly. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, obviously, last year, COVID impacted the world over, you know, but, but how was it for you? I mean... You know, how did it impact you and your teammates over there at Sussex? Um, well, firstly, obviously, it, it, it came in. Well, not came in, but, it, you know, it started to sort of kick off and, you know, stuff started being locked on just as, you know, we finished our preseason and everyone was ready to go, you know, to kick off the season sort of March and April. Um, so, you know, that put that put us sort of on a back burner where everyone had to, you know, just sort of lay low for for a couple of months which wasn't ideal because, you know, everyone was fully prepared, fit, ready to go. Um, and it felt like, you know, we had to start all over again, um, which, you know, as, as you know, you would know as a sportsman, it's not ideal to, to stop and have to keep and have to go back again. But, you know, we managed to get through it and, and you know, with the help of the coaches, um, S&Cs, um, physios, you know, everyone was, was fit and healthy and, and ready to go. And I think, you know, we probably obviously we didn't play as much cricket last year, but we had less injuries, um, more players, you know, that were available and, and only park. So, you know, that's that's a plus side, I think, for us. But, yeah, I mean, short in year, but, you know, it was nice to play in, at the end of the day. Was there any time through that that period where you thought perhaps, you know, the season may be scrapped entirely? Yeah, I mean, originally that, that was my that was my thought along with a few others. Um, you know, the way that the numbers were going in England, it didn't look like we were going to get any sport at all you know obviously football has stopped um and that's you know is is a sign within itself you know obviously being probably the main attraction in 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 terms of sport in england um but yeah i mean like i said you know we're thankful to all the people that were, were able to get it on for us and and yeah we were happy and lucky enough to get some cricket in yeah and you know what what was it that you and your teammates did to keep yourselves motivated during that time uh, it was a lot of Zoom calls, a lot of Zoom um, well, fitness workouts, you know, with the S&C and the physios, um, you know, there's a lot of keeping in touch, just making sure everyone, you know, mentally was, was okay. And, you know, that was, I think that was the main thing during the period like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, the boys were just so motivated coming from, you know, being away in preseason in March um, in, in South Africa. Um, you know, you spend two weeks out there training and playing every day and you're looking forward to getting the season going. But you know, I mean, once we sort of learned or figured out that we would get some sort of cricket in in the summer, I think, you know, the motivation definitely ticked back over and, and we were ready to go. So when did you actually, you know, get, get the green light? Um, I want to say probably end of April, you know, towards May, maybe. Um, you know, they were, they were talking about, there was murmurs around that, that it was going to happen, but um, I can't remember exactly when the schedule, when the schedule came out and, that, you know, when it came out, that's when... You know, it was it was set in stone and, and we were ready to go. Yeah. So the, so the season was reduced. Yeah, we only played five first class games, and then you know you were reduced into your regions, I guess, to play the T Twenties. Um, but the way they done it, you know, um, I think pleased quite a few of the players, and and I think they sort of, they sort of stuck with the format some somewhat this year. Um, so I guess that's another plus, and you know the way it got run last year was it was positive and people enjoyed it. Now, in spite of a reduced season, you still, you still thrived um, in in both formats um, to you know continue to fulfill your enormous potential. Um, I think particularly you impressed with the ball. I mean, we all know, you know, batting is your is your primary weapon, but but you also thrived with the ball last year. Yeah, I mean, it was it was it was. You know, just a case of when you got your opportunity, showing what, what, what you can do. And, you know, I, I worked towards, you know, getting that opportunity for the last couple of years um, with the spin bowling coach, you know, who's now one of the head coaches, which is, you know, quite exciting for us as a team. Um, but, yeah, I've just been working hard and working towards that moment. And, you know, luckily when it came, I was able to deliver and, and, 
and help 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 the boys to get through him in some games. So a lot lot more uh, sessions in the net, spinning left arm orthodox. I mean, yeah, a lot of that, you know, a lot of video footage, a lot of just analyzing the game. Um, sometimes there's a case of, you know, not even changing much in terms of your actions, your abilities, just, you know, massing around the fields and, and or, or just being, trying to be as clever as you can. Um, you know, and, and luckily I'm a batter, so I sometimes I'm able to think how, how other batters might think. And, you know, that, that works in my favor as well, which, you know, allows me to, sort of be a couple of steps ahead and, and, and think what he might be thinking. And are you bat were you batting these days? Uh, I think I'm still around the middle water. Um, you know, we haven't really had those discuss discussions yet mm -hmm. as to say, you know, what well, what the plan is, but, you know, last year I managed to get at to the top of the order in T twenty at three um a couple of times. Um and you know, it was around five or six in, in the Red Bull stuff, which I'm, where I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. So I, you know, I'm pretty happy with, you know, where I am in the batting order at the moment. But it's just about keeping working hard and, and solidifying those spots. Now, obviously, the conditions over there are quite different from from here. Um, you know, how how would you describe you know the, the, what the ball does in in these conditions over in the UK, off the deck, through the atmosphere, through the air? Um. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, you, like you said, you see it on TV as well, you know, when you watch test matches and um, a lot of the time it doesn't do as much as people think it does. <laughs> um, it's just all in your head, but, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that you just have to deal with and you have to be adaptable. Um, and some days you just have to, you know, dig your teeth in and just grind it out. And some days it might be, you might be able to, you know, just bat, hit through the line of the ball and, and, and go big, so... Yeah, I mean, it's just all about being adaptable in those conditions because sometimes you never know what you're going to get. Actually, going back, you know, with, you know, to the, the COVID con um, restrictions and whatnot you guys encountered last year, what was it like playing in, in empty stadiums? Yeah, I mean, that was that was very strange, you know, within itself. You know, obviously, we are lucky at Hove that, you know, we have quite a few flats and and. and you know, halls and establishments around. So quite a few people were on, on the balconies watching and, you know, it gave it some sort of feel as if you were playing with, with some sort of crowd. But yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, T20s was, was, was the weirdest one. I remember we played a TV game at the Aegeus Bowl and the Aegeus, like TV games within itself are usually buzzing and they're bouncing, especially at the Aegeus Bowl, you know, it's one of the bigger grounds in England, but, you know, it just felt strange. You can, you can hear everyone's voice and, yeah, it was a bit weird, but, you know, it, it, again, you just have to be adaptable and, and you know, uh, hopefully hopefully this year we got quite a few fans again. And also in the T20, you, you did extremely well with the bat again. You know, you must be pleased. I think, what, over 400 runs, a handful of innings? Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's nice to, to um, you know, get a few scores, you know, up up, up above 30 or 40, but, you know, I'm, the, the next step for me now, I think, is being more consistent in, in, in winning games for Sussex. Um, yeah, and just being as consistent as possible, being as reliable as I can. You know, you know what you're going to get out of, out of me in certain situations. And, you know, I think that's my next goal, you know, being getting older. And, and, and I think having a more valuable role in the team, I think, is important that, you know, I remember that while I'm playing and, and you know, I can kick on and help us win more games. All right, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back with some more from Delray Rollins. This edition of Up Close with Colin Thompson has been brought to you by St. George's Cricket Club. Additional funding for this program was also provided by Dennis Wainwright and family.